Okay. That's not unnerving at all. So if you had normal shower for Gregory after Miss Mrs. Sullivan turned the tub of water on, she went out a normal shower in a bathtub. That doesn't make any sense. Left Gregory there alone to answer a phone call from somebody big. Argued too fearless, fiercely, and mostly the little boy slowly drowning. Oh, right. That's nice. She used to be Gregory's buddy. He puts him into bed, but all of a sudden he doesn't touch anymore. Couldn't talk yet. But we could see the fear in his eyes. Maybe this house changed the sheep toy too. Yep. Oh, what is this? Get around that. Gregory used to laugh a lot when he played with his favourite fr toy friend Dobby. Like something funny was happening between them, but only he could see it. Maybe he saw things others don't. Whatever it was that he saw, he made sure. It sure made him happy. Now proceed to the next room. Okay. Private detective Mr. Sullivan's Mr. Sullivan's signature look is a coat with his pair of glasses. He's a total workaholic and his job made him a strong believer in science. He never believed in supernatural phenomena until he saw the strange things happening to both of his kids. He knew something was going to happen to them. He just didn't expect that day to come so soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What was going on there? That's weird. Why is Molly's old toy here? What happened to her? Ever since Halloween night, nobody knows where she went. And people assume that it was her. We killed all her family because she was probably possessed by an evil spirit. Alright. Pleasant. Call the Garden of Garden of Forking Paths. That sounds slightly rude. This is Mrs. Sullivan's favorite book. It is about time and how sometimes many decisions we make can lead to different consequences in the future. What is that? Is a rattle? Oh my god, that sound is just ridiculous. After Gregory's death, Mrs. Sullivan started to have nightmares very often. She decided to use her family's old relic mirror to try to scare away the evil spirit and paranormal atmosphere in the house. I thought it was working in the beginning, but it was not. It hid and waited for the right moment to attack. The key! Can I please pick up the key? Is that... Am I allowed to do that? Oh my god, what is going on? Why is the key here and what does it unlock? Mrs. Sullivan probably wanted to hide something, but from whom? From her family or from herself? Okay, we found all the items in this room. What is this thing? Okay. That's weird. Here. Right. Okay, just having a look, just having a peek. After Molly lost control, she was changed to the bed all the time. It's easier for doctors to check her status. She was under control and had no privacy. The only safe place for her was her diary. Uh, the note doesn't reveal a lot of information. It seems like the doctor couldn't explain the things that happened to Molly. After they moved to this house, Molly started behaving abnormally. Sometimes she just blankly stared at the wall and whispered something. Sometimes she got bad headaches and screamed all day. It seems I'm Molly's diary. 
all of the pages are filled with strange signs which are hard to recognize. What is she trying to say? Or is she under control? She never allowed anyone to touch this notebook. She was hiding something. See if is there a death scenario? I died. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, so the flashlight makes it so I can't get hit by that. But if I do. Cool. I like it. 